Kathy and said, hey, you know, you really need to uh, uh, put something in writing or get his memories in while he's still alive, you know, because he's getting older. And, you know, we need to get this stuff down for the young generation to learn this thing. This history is so important. It really is. So we found out this... Uh, this medal that could be prevented or presented to a veteran that fought in World War II, so he had to go through the qualifications. So she, she was when she wrote the book, she also got us information on that document, sent it in. I guess it took them uh, three months because of COVID and stuff, and they, they finally said, "Oh yeah, he qualifies." So. Who is she that you're talking about? One of his daughters? Yeah, Kathy. 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 Yeah. So I, I was communicating with her back and forth. Like, it was kind of encouraging, pushing, yeah. pushing, pushing. You know? how, how long ago did you say it was that you first got Ooh. thinking about this? It's got to be, uh, it's got to be about a year, something, okay. like, yeah, something like that. You know, I move pretty fast. As the way government goes, a year is not so bad. Yes, yes. But I, I and I, I, you know, I have. I mean, I'm part of the Fifth Division that fought in Vietnam, and uh, we have a lot of oh, veterans that were with the 5th Division that fought with Patton, so um, I'm very interested in military history. Mm -hmm. so. so the book came first and then the application I came out? I believe so. Well, the, that, the, the beginnings of the book, were, you know, they published it recently, but okay. they've been collecting all this information. And of course, like most veterans, they don't want to talk about it. Right. You know? They pretty much put their medals in the drawer and that's it and get out with life, you know. But this, hey, this is too important. You can't let this, this is living history, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Phil, what is your last name? I'm sorry? What is your last name? Bienvenue. It means welcome. <laughs> oh, French Canadian. <laughs> So do you understand everything the general had to say when he was a up there? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I, you know, if they speak slowly enough, I can pick it up. So. And my wife, Linda, came. We just moved to South Carolina back in November, so I, I made the trip. I said, i got to see this. You know, I've got to be part of this. Thank you, sir. Okay.